Hi James, I hope you're doing well. Just kind of want to show you the progress. We have been working at this and we did some testing. I think you'd be happy with it. Um, real quick, let me show you. We're going to create a new purchase order. We'll go through the process. This is going to be test customer, test vendor here. Um, make sure to set up the correct subsidiary, fill out all the required information. Test. Put this in Rockland. This is also in the sandbox. I'm pretty sure you have sandbox access. However, I'll double check to make sure it's still there. I'm going to put some items in here. I'm going to do this one, say 100 of these, right? And then I'm also going to do uh, let's do another one. Let's do this random one over here. Let's do. 10 of these, right? Okay, so we hit add. One thing I want to bring attention to is the sales tax rate and sales tax amounts. Um, this is populated here. This is purely for informational purposes. Um, we weren't able to make this only, and you'll show this after I save it. We still have the sales tax line item here. We actually have to have it as line item in order for it to have a GL impact in the item receipts. There's no other way to work around it. That's just a limitation we have. However, for informational purposes, we also have it here. We'll go ahead and hit save here. Oh, it's asking about address. Say no. Go ahead and hit save. First thing I want to bring your attention to is this field over here. We added the subtotal, which is a combination of these two items here, then the sales tax, and then the total right here as well which I'll just works out here perfectly, it adds up. This is based off the rate. And you also wanna notice that the quantity is actually gonna be based off of, um, in order for us to have multiple item receipts um, and to be able to calculate on each item receipt, we have it here. We have to have the 110 items and you'll see how this goes into play later on. But again, we have to have right here, these columns are purely informational purposes. These columns do not have any GL impact. The only thing that actually has a GL impact is amounts, and that is the limitation of the system. So that's why we have to have an actual line item for sales tax. And um, so this is what it looks like now. We got this information. This is the purchase order screen. We're going to go ahead and submit for approval, right? Since it's under $50,000, it's automatically approved. Now we'll go ahead and ready to hit receive, right? So let's go ahead and say, Test. Even though the sandbox likes to put tests in there, I'm gonna say 10 here. I'm gonna say 50 here and five here, just to keep it simple. And just so we know what number we're working with, the sales tax is 553.80. So that means this should be 276.90 or something like that. Quick math in my head. And so we we hit. Reduced it. We're not going to touch this item. Unfortunately, this is a limitation. This has to be here. We can't change the quantity amount. We're just going to have to train the warehouse people specifically not to touch this quantity amount. We go ahead and hit save. And you can see it automatically updates to the 55, right? And we need to set it up like this in order for it to... Um, sales tax to show up on multiple item receipts because you might have two or three item receipts for each one. However, if we go ahead and hit the GL impact, we can see that it's 276.90, the correct amount here, right? And it's in the inventory asset account, which is great news. Next, we're gonna go and go ahead and do the rest of the mate. The, let's just go ahead just for experimentation purposes. There's 50 left to receive. I'm gonna say 25 and I'm gonna say three here. Right, go hit save. You can see here again, it is hitting the GL account for the correct amount. I didn't do the simple math. However, you're more than welcome to test it. And then we're gonna do the final item you see here. Right, and that's all of it. And we should be good to go. So now it's in the item we see. The only thing you're gonna have to be doing later on is when you guys are doing reconciliations or you're recognizing it. Um, 
it should be on point, but this should help. You're just going to have to find a way to clear this from your guys' inventory, whether it's through an inventory adjustment or inventory yeah, inventory adjustment or whatever you guys want to use, um, journal entry. However, this allows you to make sure you're receiving the correct amount of uh, sales tax in accordance with the amount of inventory that you're receiving, and it should help you guys' reconciliation process. The only thing is you're going to have to actively train the warehouse people not to touch this number and know that this number automatically calculates itself. There is no way for us to make this quantity field uneditable, unfortunately. Um, I believe so. I, I asked my uh, developer specifically about that. He told me it is not possible. However, I can double check with him again after this meeting just to be sure. Uh, please let me know your thoughts. Um, we can get this brought into uh, production pretty quickly, and I'll confirm that you have access to this after this uh, video. Hope you're doing well. Look forward to hearing your thoughts. Thank you. Bye.